You know, I'm uh, very much to blame for the term alpha. Uh, the term alpha is, um, isn't really accurate when uh, describing most of the um, leaders of, of wolf packs uh, because uh, it implies, the term implies, uh, that uh, the wolves fought and um, competed strongly to get to the top of the pack. I published a book in 1970 that now has over 110,000 copies in circulation and in that I labeled the top uh, wolf in the pack the alpha and I did that because at that time that's all that science knew but uh, we've learned a lot and in the 35 years since that time uh, we've learned an awful lot. One of the things we've learned is that the term alpha is really uh, incorrect when applied to most uh, wolf pack leaders. It's, a, it's appropriate to use the term alpha uh, in an artificial pack where, uh, you know, you might put many wolves um, from different assemblages together, unrelated wolves and that kind of thing. Then they would form a pecking order or, or a dominance hierarchy and, and you could call the top animal at that point the alpha. But that, that rarely happens in the wild, if ever. And um, so, you know, that would be one case where you could use it. Another case is where you have a, what we call a um, complex pack or a multiple, uh, or a pack with multiple breeders. Uh, in Yellowstone, for example, there have been some packs that have had as many as three breeding females. And in that case, you can call the, the top ranking female, who would usually be the mother, uh, you can call that animal the alpha female. One will dominate the other. He'll say, I'm the biggest dragon here. If the other one is of equal size and equal temperament, they will fight. If not, the smaller one actually submits. And what they do is take their arm and they move it ever so slowly in a counterclockwise direction. And the larger dragon will understand that that's like the person saying, don't hit me. He puts his hands up and says, I don't want to fight. So they work things out together in nature. In nature, of course, they can disappear and run in different areas. In a captive environment, they have to have that submissive language going forth between, back and forth between them in order to avoid fights in captivity.